Hi, this is Jen with American Knitter, and today I'm going to show you a really easy stitch called the Seed Stitch. So I am making a washcloth right now, and I am using the Seed Stitch to create that washcloth. Uh, the Seed Stitch is a lot of fun because of the texture. You can see it's really bumpy. Um, it's perfect for washcloths because of this bumpy texture. It's also really nice for cowls or scarves. Um, so this is how you do it. It's really simple. All you need to know is how to knit and purl. Um, so, first of all, I just want to remind you to please subscribe to American Knitter and uh, ring the bell so you can get notifications when we have new videos up. Also, please uh, let me know if you like this video and comment if you have any questions or anything else you would like to see. Okay, so for my washcloth here, um, if you're interested, what I did was cast on 37 stitches um, and then I'm doing a border of three knits on each side. So I've already knit my three for the border and now I'm going to start on the seed stitch, which is really easy. So if you can see, my very first stitch on this side is a purl. So what I'm going to do is knit. Seed stitch is just knitting the purls and purling the knits. So I knit and then I purl, and then I knit, and then I purl. So it just goes back and forth, knit, purl, knit, purl, knit, purl. And then when you turn it over, you just knit the purls and purl the knits. When you have a, an, an odd cast on, um, or an odd number of stitches, then it's automatically going to be knit, purl, knit, purl, knit, purl every row, which makes it super easy. So I will just finish this row and turn it around and let you see. Also, the seed stitch is perfect for a washcloth and a scarf because it is reversible. It is the same on both sides, which is super nice. Okay, so again, I'm just going to knit, oops, and purl. Okay, so there you go. If you can see again, this one is a purl because it has that loop in the front. So I'm going to knit. And then this one is a knit because uh, you can see it's lacking the loop. So I'm going to purl this one. So I just go across the whole row. And then when I turn it around, I do the same. Knit, purl, knit, purl. And there you go. There is your seed stitch. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped. I hope you know uh, how to do that seed stitch now. If you have any questions or um, would like to know anything else, just let me know. Comment below and like our videos. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.